Gastroenteritis is a inflammation of the stomach, the small bowel. It is um, usually a self-limited problem. It can happen from a virus or a bacteria. You know, food poisoning is really a form of gastroenteritis. Viral gastroenteritis can be like a, a fluish sort of symptom, usually associated with nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, plus minus diarrhea. Um, and pretty severe abdominal pain. Most of the time, people with uh, gastroenteritis don't, don't even have to go to an ER. It's usually self-limited at home. Um, it's just a, a, you know, what we call a stomach bug, usually. Uh, there's another form of enteritis called uh, colitis, which is an inflammation of the colon, and that can cause diarrhea, um, sometimes bloody, depending on the type. And that's a little bit more serious and oftentimes requires hospitalization and need for um, IV antibiotics. And usually during that time, a, a gastroenterologist or a colorectal surgeon will do something called a colonoscopy where a scope is placed through the colon to look and see what's going on. Sometimes that can be caused by loss of blood flow to the colon, uh, or it can be caused by uh, an overgrowth of bacteria. Colitis is treated usually by bowel rest, so uh, nothing to eat or drink, or sometimes just a clear liquid diet, um, IV antibiotics most of the time, and um, IV antibiotics generally. So after, tr after the treatment of colitis, usually we like people to stay on a low residue diet, which is a low fiber diet for about two weeks and then have a follow-up colonoscopy in six to eight weeks with the gastroenterologist or with our colorectal surgeon.